But look at they look before they put their wings up. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful creature. If you ever wanted to know what starburst magma lava look like, guys, here it is. Hey guys, David Fine from Keys Mods, and this, guys, is pretty exciting because I've been waiting for my rosy maple moths to emerge. And literally, I was going to take one of the cocoons out or the chrysalis out and photograph it. And literally, while it was in my hands, this guy popped out. So we're gonna do a little dialogue on the rosy maple moth. Uh, we got some eggs from a female from Northern Georgia back in August. And now we're just going to, uh, we're actually gonna show you the life cycle here in our Wacky Worms video soon. But guys, short video, just showing you a little bit about the rosy maple moth. Yep, here's another one right there. It's popped out as well. So they're popping out. Um, this guy's expanding his wings. Actually, this girl is expanding her wings and we'll get back with you here shortly. So stay tuned. Lava coming down from a volcano. What a beautiful moth. It's got these pink colors. Um, Look how look how they look before they pump their wings out. No. <laughs> look how they look. Oh, he's squirting. Look how they look before they stretch their wings out. Guys, we just had a rosy maple moth emerge from its cocoon in my hand. I was literally trying to photograph this chrysalis and this rosy maple moth just popped out and so now I didn't see what happened so now this guy is kind of cruising around looking for a place to hang and dry his wings oh that's looking good so dude you just need to uh chill find a spot on a spot, guys. Look at okay. So now he's going into all right. So, guys, check this out. So, the rosy maple moth well, pretty much all butterflies and moths when they emerge from their chrysalis, all the fluids are in their abdomen. So, guys, look at the fluids that are in this abdomen. And now, the job of this moth right now is to chill out at first of all, he needs to chill. But then he needs to pump, <laughs> yeah, he needs to pump all the fluids from his abdomen into his wings and stretch his wings out. Because if he doesn't do that soon, then what will happen is his wings will dry and they're not expanded and he'll never be able to fly. So, in fact, this is a female this is a female, not a male. So I've been calling him he, and it's a she. So, uh, the antennae. I know by the antennae. See, the boys have fe more feathery antennae, and the girls have uh, more of a straight antenna with small hair-like things, but the boys have the big hair-like appendages. Now, this guy's going round and round. I'm really not sure what he's looking for. I just put him on a nice stick. And he decided he didn't want anything to do with that stick. He goes, your stick's not good enough for me. Your Get that stick out of my face. Your stick's not good enough for me. I'm going to go find my own stick. Here, let me offer him this stick and see. He sounds like you. He sounds like me? Okay. There we go. All right, now. It looks like she has temporarily accepted my stick this stick here, but the question is, when will she stop, oh, she stopped, I guess she likes that stick, okay guys, we are going to try and get this stick braced, 
so that we can get you some video action of this rosy maple moth pumping its wings full of the fluids that are currently in its abdomen. So isn't that cool guys? Super cool. Guys, because in a few minutes, it's going to look like this. Because this is another female that popped out yesterday. And I was actually just photographing this one. And this one just popped out. So in a few minutes, guys, in a few minutes, these little tiny shrinked up wings are going to be filled and expanded. And they're going to look like this one does. This is its sister. So these are actually sisters right here, guys. All right, I'm going to brace this guy so we can start drying the wings. Yeah, so this guy's, this moth is literally expanding its wings as we speak. So little by little, guys. So little by little, the fluids pump from the abdomen. Let me see. Guys, little by little, the fluids pump from the abdomen into the wings and literally expand little by little. So right now we are actually seeing that happen live and in person. Sorry, the lighting is not good, but it is what I've got to work with at the moment. So um, pretty cool thing to see this guy or this girl actually expanding her wings. Pretty cool. Look at this thing, man. What a gorgeous creature. Guys, look at the pink little fuzzy feet this guy's got, or this girl. Check this out. Little pink fuzzy feet, pink fuzzy face. What a gorgeous little moth. Who says moths are ugly? I love moths, they're so cool. Amazing. All right, guys, so it's been about 10 minutes and the rosy maple moth is wings are almost fully expanded and for now you can actually see that the wings are actually folded back behind the thorax much like a butterfly would sit and this will probably be the only time in its life where it will sit like this um, most of the time they'll sit like this, with their wings folded down over the abdomen. But right now, um, as he's drying the wings, he's letting them hang, and their wings are, are expanding and pumping, and they're going to be full of, uh, you know, they're gonna be drying out here soon. So uh, probably a good, another hour or so, this guy will be practically ready to fly. So pretty cool to see and I'll show you guys more in a few. All right, so Sophia is applying heat to her metamorphic rock. To her, no, this is, uh, oh yeah, it's metamorphic, starburst rock. So now what she's gonna try and do is she's going to simulate it turning into magma, which uh -huh. is beginning. Dude, that looks so cool. Right? It looks like the rosy maple moth. This is Sophia's science project. She's doing the different forms of rock and the, and the whole rock metamorphosis cycle. And she took a starburst, or three different color starbursts, cut them into little pieces, made sediments out of them, put them together in layers and had sedimentary rock, um, smushed them together with a little bit of friction and made a metamorphic rock. Now she's applying heat to form magma, which would be molten like lava rock. Wait, and, am I missing you? No, you're doing great. And yeah, so what's happening is, yeah, you gotta be on the, be on, you gotta, what are you doing? Keep going, keep going, keep going. I won't light. What do you mean it won't light? Okay, so, are you good? I think so. It won't stay hard. Uh oh, that's not good. Yeah. 
Well, it doesn't have to be like right on it. Give it a little bit of a separation there. All right, so you guys can see the magma forming. You see that? I actually understand this. I'm a visual learner. Now. You're a visual learner? Okay, that's good to know that. All it's right, bubbling. So that's, it's bubbling. That's totally fine. Your, part, your project rubric said that it would bubble. So it's bubbling. It's melting. It's <coughs> forming a gas. <laughs> Forming a little bit of smoke. We don't have corona. No corona here, guys. Just starbur starburst fumes as it becomes igneous rock. Okay, so it's becoming lava or magma. Look how cool. I, I, I also didn't think that this little thing had it. I thought that this wouldn't have enough, like, power yeah I thought it like we need like a blowtorch yeah so it's funny that you're doing this project with pink rock at the same time I'm doing a but a moth project with a pink and yellow moth this is like literally the same colors as my rosy maple moth that I'm that just hatched out of its chrysalis why can't we do it on the top of it uh, I don't know you're following instructions right Okay, and little by little it's melting. Imagine how much more it would take to melt. <gasps> oh Whoa. yeah, that's getting super jiggy. It's like boiling. <gasps> it stopped. No, it stopped. Dude, what are you doing? It stopped. This project is never gonna end, Sophie. If you ever wanted to know what starburst magma lava look like guys here it is look it's all bubbly and... I just blew up my candle yeah you just good job good job I smell starburst it's so it smells so good in this house right now it smells like starburst is it melted already like, can I stop I don't know can you it says says don't use don't hold the boat with your hands which i'm not holding um, it with tongs over the candle until your rock melts put it over the candle until your rock yeah melts. well it's not really a candle it is normally nor it is normal to see bubbles and gas however if you see too much smoke just adjust the distance you are heating the rock Okay, I'm gonna just hold your thing still. Once I'm actually gonna remove the heat source and set it aside to cool, blow the candle. Yeah, okay. Well, we're getting there. Dude, it's starting to turn like black. You should see the bottom. It's like pitch black. Is it? Yeah. You still got this like, like little chunk of unmelted stuff. I don't know what to say about that, so to me that looks like that looks like starburst lava with a little chunk in the middle. A little chunky monkey right there. We're to come look at this! Hurry, it's so cool. I'm melting starburst. Oh, Uh-oh, what happened? Lorenzo didn't catch anything. Why are you mad, son? Not a huge what do you mean? Not a huge okay, hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. All right, guys. So check it out. the 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 rock is now melted, and it is now magma. Sophie, I think it's melted sufficiently. You can take your fire away, and now we're going to let it cool. Okay, I have to draw what it looks like right now. Okay, hold on. Okay. Hurry up. So we got some, like, Don't touch it. Of, very, very hot. I have a lot of red, like, everywhere. Like, it's, like, everywhere. It's, like, very spoogy looking. Yeah. Okay. Like now, see, so it's, some it's, this is, like, lava coming down out of a volcano right there, guys. Look at that. Like, watch, Shelby. Check it out. Lava coming down from a volcano. 
Oh my gosh, guys, that is exactly what you would think lava would look like. We just made our own lava out of Starburst. I don't think you would want to eat that now. No. So the next step, guys, is to wait until this cools down and then it will form our igneous rock out that's of Starburst. My, that's, my, that's, that's my drawing. All right, these are Sophie's drawings of her sediments, sedimentary rock, metamorphic rock, magma rock, and then eventually igneous, igneous rock. rock. Sophie, congratulations. I've officially made whatever I made. Whatever, you officially made whatever that is. Congratulations. All right, guys, so this is the rosy maple moth. Isn't she pretty? Uh, th th guys, this is bad lighting, and I apologize. This is in my kitchen. I didn't have my lighting set up. This was just like a really spur-of-the-moment thing. So, guys, um, isn't this a gorgeous moth? Look at the colors. It's like pastel colors of this moth. Let me see if I can get her to show off her little colors a little bit better. Yeah, guys, look at the pastel colors on this moth, pink and yellows. Um, she's very, very docile because female moths, um, they actually just hang out and wait for the boys to come. They don't want to waste their energy that will be spent later on while laying eggs. So, uh, guys, this is a female rosy maple. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful creature. Um, and she's chilling, waiting for males. I'm sure she's giving off of her uh, pheromone as we speak. But uh, what a beautiful moth. It's got those pink colors. Um, we raised them on swamp maple, uh, even though they came from the mountains of Northern Georgia. Uh, I have a swamp maple in my backyard and they ate that very, very readily. So guys, hope you like this short video. Sorry, it's in my kitchen. But I thought that was a cool video. Actually, she got a little, her wings a little bent there, but that's okay. Uh, guys, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I've got a lot of cool videos coming your way. So this is the rosy maple moth. It is a Saturnid. It's a, it's in the silk moth family. And there, yeah, she's gonna go back to sleep. Well, aren't they just so cool? It's, they're so cool. So, all right guys, signing off for now. Uh, short video, more coming soon. So don't forget to subscribe and check out our new videos when they post. So until next time, take care and let's enjoy South Florida. Bye now.